I'm Martin and I'd like to give you another tutorial on OmniTiles. In this case I would like to show you how you can create seamless textures um, for use in game engines like Stingray, Unreal Engine, Unity, but also to create these textures for use in V-Ray RT and GPU renderers, um, V-Ray RT or Octane for example, or Tia. And um, so it's pretty easy actually, uh, and I'll, I'll just give you a guide through with some simple steps. First thing, I'm loading a prepared material with the material manager, which is this uh, natural stone material. Um, you can right click, assign to selection if you have selected some geometry, or put it in one of the um, material editor slots. I'm loading this into the first slot. And um, you'll see that <coughs> this one, excuse me, has quite a few textures loaded. In this case, I don't know how many. It's uh, 31 diffuse maps alone. Each one is uh, is one stone map. And um, the diffuse channel uh, looks approximately like this. And uh, which is based on a pattern uh, that looks like this. <clears throat> so the special thing here is that uh, this pattern, or in general these patterns created with OmniTiles, have seamless um, borders. As each shape uh, repeats on, on the other side, top down or left right, we'll get um, seamless textures when we render those, uh, which will allow us to repeat these textures even uh, without OmniTiles. So um, if you're not familiar with the render to maps function, uh, it's found here in the utilities menu render map. And here you can adjust the width and height in pixels. So <coughs> excuse me, for um, simple rendering I'm just using the smaller size but you can go up to 8k, um, 4, 4k, 4006, 96 etc. And um, so hit render then uh, it will render this map directly and when this is done uh, I'll, I'll save it and do the same with the other maps. That's it. Save, diffuse, JPEG. Go ahead. Okay, that's the diffuse map. Next is the bump map, and then oh, this takes a bit to render the preview. Oops, oops, excuse me. All right. So um, the bump map. Just select the bump map. You'll see this one. And I've done that already, so I'll go through this more quickly. And here's the uh, the displacement map. <coughs> so once you've done those uh, the same way, render map, uh, you can create a new material based on these maps. And I'll do this for um, the V-Ray. And this is done by just loading a bitmap. Select the diffuse map, and there you go. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you can uh, also increase the tiling here, for example, if you want, and you still get seamless tiling. You you get some repetition um, because the pattern is fixed. With OmniTouch, you wouldn't get these repetitions, but um, just to show you that it's still seamless. Um, all right, I've prepared a scene, uh, and I've loaded this in this. To the Max 2016, since I have V-Ray 3 here and V-Ray RT um, only supports displacement in, in version 3. So um, let's open the Active Shade. And here's the material. And you'll see that with V-Ray RT you can get nice uh, real-time, kind of real-time rendering. Um, I'm not sure actually if this is... Um, CPU or GPU rendering. Oh, it's CPU. But um, I'd like to show you another example. Um, if you use Octane, you can still make use of OmniTiles. Um, 
and uh, I've also prepared a simple scene with Omni tiles. Uh, excuse me, with um, Octane, uh, where I've created an an Octane material, loaded uh, the diffuse map here, um, added a bump map and displacement map, um, and a normal specular uh, reflection. And uh, let's see how that looks like. There we go. So um, as you can see, this is real-time rendering in uh, Octane. All right, so that's it. I hope you like it. If you haven't tested OmniTiles, you can download the free full-featured demo, which runs for 15 days. Um, you can download some of the Material Manager presets and library materials. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you like it. Enjoy. Bye-bye.